Fight number 13 is your professional main event of the evening. This fight is sponsored by Jones Subwoofer Solutions for the biggest bass and the biggest and the best audio in the industry. Look up JSS on Facebook. They truly appreciate your support. This professional welterweight MMA bout is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. And if you guys would, please direct your attention to the screens. And now, fighting out of the red corner is your challenger, standing at six foot zero inches tall, weighing at 168 pounds, with a record of seven, one and oh. And making his pro debut today, doing it for Snake Pit MMA and Salt Lake Muay Thai, give it up for Justin McDonald! Ladies and gentlemen, first up in your main event tonight, the Lumberjack, Justin McDonald. This man is 33 years old, standing six feet even. This is his professional debut, so right now he is 0-0-0. And one of those, he gotta go. Prior to this, he was 7-1 in the amateur world. Now this is a big step up for him. He is coming into five minute rounds. He is coming into a new toolbox that is now open to him that was not before. You've got knees, you've got elbows, you've got all sorts of other stuff that you could not do if you are a submission guy. You've got twisting leg locks, you've got all of the things the amateurs can't the do. Yes, th this is the fully open arsenal. I mean, obviously you're not gonna eye gouge, you're not gonna grow a child, you're not gonna do the illegal things, but this is the one that lets you be a full MMA fighter. All of those tools that you train at the gym are now open for you in the cage. Yes, yes. And you know, this guy had, had a great amateur career. Um, you know, he came in, he, he fought hard, he fought through a lot of people. Now he's kind of going up a step. He's going up into that pro round. Well, and, and his one loss that he had as an amateur was against a very tough, very technical Chris Chu. He took some time off. He moved out of state. He uh, did a few things. And then when he came back, he really refocused his game. He has been spending every day at the gym putting in the work to get ready for this move to the uh, professional world. Sounds good. And now, fighting into the black corner. Your champion, weighing at six feet, zero inches tall, weighing 169 and a half pounds, with a record of 4-1-0 and oh, amateur and 1-1-0 one, one and oh, pro, doing it for 4-7 training center. Give it up for Nino Gino! My man. I heard these niggas supposed to be like locking down the industry on some shit. I was shit. Dog, that's my man's name. Mm. See so what I'm doing? Uh -huh. My man's your man. Because uh -huh. that's my man. You know. So you know, if you fucking with me, uh -huh. you fucking with me. I love the intro. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for the crescendo. Right, right.
gentlemen, we have Nino Hanau walking out right now. He is 32 years old. He can five foot 11 inches tall. He has a pro record of one and one. He is the king warrior. Born and raised out of Yonkers, New York. Living in Utah now. He was training out there at 4'7". What do you know about him? 4'7 is uh, coaches Jason Merlich, uh, Walt Bailey's Jiu-Jitsu, and then you've got uh, Rad Martinez, who is just a phenom. Amazing wrestling background, but just great all-around MMA fighter. You've got Arnold Anderton. You've got all of those guys out there, and then you've got in his corner right there, Brian. Thompson, you've got some great guys out of that gym. You've seen about three other ones fight tonight that all have done great jobs. Phenomenal performance from every single one of them. And then you've got Nino Hay now. So I was going to say, you got one of, one of the better ones for last. Yes. He, he is a phenomenal fighter. He is one of those guys that you see come out. He is full of aggression, full of energy, but he is technical. Yeah, I, I saw him many, many years ago training in a ghost gym, and he was throwing up in the left hands. I had to talk to him, and his right hand was hurt. So he had been sitting there working his left hand, working jabs, working hooks. He got really proficient at it. He's continued to work his game. I hurt my right hand, and, and I just do nothing. <laughs> so that's pretty impressive to say that you meet him, and he's actively working at the gym, putting in the time to improve yeah. the one side that's still good. Exactly, exactly. I mean, this guy has been around for a while. He is a devastating striker. Um, he's coming out of 4-7. He has a, a great ground game. Uh, but what I really like to see him is, is see him put hands on people. Oh, absolutely. Now, he is coming in off of a loss. He is 1-1 one one on the professional side. He is 4-1 on the amateur side. But his last fight was actually a loss against Montel Williams here at Still Fist. But that was a decision. And that went all three rounds. Yes. And as a pro, that's three five-minute rounds. That's 15 minutes of fighting. And that was all the way back in March of last year, of 2022. So he's been on a little bit of a hiatus for a while, going in and putting in that work at the gym to reset and get ready for this fight. Yeah, I mean, these guys both had storied amateur careers. They're now starting their pro debuts and their pro careers. And, and, and both of them are phenomenal fighters both yes. are very aggressive very strong powerhouses exactly exactly here they go both of them kind of taking their time a little bit of respect for the power of both of them mcdonald kind of has a in your face pressure style once he comes in once he comes in but right now he seems to be feeling out a little bit more than uh normal you usually see yeah which is respect for what nino can do yes yes well, and, Good. and there, this is what, Get that high this is what Justin likes. Look for that beautiful takedown by down Justin down. McDonald. Now he's controlling side control. Nino pushing in against the cage. Look for Dave to step in and tell him to get those uh, toes out the of there. McDonald's doing a good job putting that pressure on that wrestling. Yeah, keeping him pushed up against the cage and not giving much room for Nino to do that. Yeah, now with Nino training with Red Martinez, you kind of expect him to be a little bit used to people putting on that pressure, that wrestling pressure. Yes, yes. But at the same time, it, it's hard to train against someone like Justin McDonald. Yes. Because he's not just a good wrestler, he's also just ridiculously strong. Well, he's strong, he's a tough kid, he's kind of a... a Tough nose, kid. Well, and look how easily he's grabbing that high crotch. Every single time that he's gone up against the cage, he's getting deep and high on that crotch. Well, you saw the elevation he got the last time. Yeah, absolutely. And you're seeing it again. Good, yeah. Not able to do anything with it, but still elevated. Elevated. Right, he needs to flare that out. But see that foot that Nino's putting in? Nino's that, doing a good job yeah. stuffing it. And then that, that arm coming through for the cross face. But... Right now, he's not in a good position to really stuff much. No, no. I'd, I'd like to see Justin maybe go high like he's doing and elevate, but take it to the right instead to the left. Well, and one of the questions that I have, and, and I think it's just one of the unknowns, is you know this is you know just a style that we've seen him do in the amateur level over and over. Now we're gonna have to do this for five minutes now. So yes, yes, yes. This is a grueling style. It's, it's hard. It's a yeah, lot of you're work. You're grinding the entire time. Yes. And, and normally he can out grind his opponent and get the W. Yes, but that's three minute rounds. This is the first time that he's gonna have to test that 
in a five-minute match. That's right. Gets the takedown, but Nino's very athletic. Look how quickly he's able to stand back up. Yes, yes. And does the right thing, too, putting that knee against the cage and standing up the right way. Not just muscling up, but actually standing up proper a, a for MMA. Stand yes, up. technical stand-up, absolutely. Well, I mean, this is a great grappling battle that we have here. Well, it, and you've got a lot of dominant cage control by Justin McDonald, and you're going to see a reset right here because there's lack of dominance. Yeah. No one's really doing much to capitalize, so Dave says, all right, start back in the middle. And if you're just tuning in, Dave is the amazing looking gentleman that is the referee this evening. Ooh, big Ooh, right hand by Haydow. Ooh, Ooh flying nice. knee by Haydow. Those are those hands he likes to put on. Well, and that's an explosive technical striking that you expect oh, out of me now. McDonald went for that body yep. lock, and Haynow just said nope and yep. shucked him off. Well, McDonald wants him back to his area. I mean, back Which to is the ground. Right? And this, this is how he's been winning the round so far. But at the same time, is he winning the round when Haynow's landing some dominant strikes like that, forcing him to go to the ground? Well, see, that's going to be the question here. Uh, it, it, and that's not going to be up for us to at, at all. I love not being a judge because there are so many rules that come into play. And Haynow landing some nice side elbows there. And this is, again, something that you see open up in the pro side. Uh -huh. he, those are not north-south elbows. Those are coming in from the outside and whipping that point in from the outside. That is a very... Dangerous elbow. Yes, I, I mean, right now, again, we're in that pro area. We get to use all those weapons. Like that flying knee you saw a little while ago. Yeah, and now, what I'll be curious is we got about 30 seconds left in the round. If he kind of stays neutral like this, where does the round go? You know, Nino definitely had the better strikes. He definitely had the more damage. Yeah, it, and that's the thing, was the grappling and the takedowns of Justin McDonald enough to take away from that dominant and effective striking of Haynow. And honestly, from what I've seen, ooh, beautiful elbows. Oh, elbows. A able it's to stop the takedown. You got, you got 30 seconds left. No, sorry, 10 Done. seconds left. Let's see if he's able to keep going. McDonald's still in the game. So you said yeah. stepping oh, in. Ooh, round we round. are going to see round number two. We are getting round number two, and Nino is not going to go down the corner. <laughs> that was as close as it gets. <laughs> he's yelling, get up. Get up. <laughs> and McDonald's having a hard time standing. He is. I think McDonald might be done. We might be, we might be calling you, you him might see the uh, not answering the bell. That's what no, I'm thinking. I'm not going to I'm not going to say anything about that yet. We've got a full minute for him to catch his uh, bearings. Well, but the doc's gonna doc's going to come in and he's going to look at him as soon as he gets to his chair. We got to get to the chair first. I, I got to say hey now striking even at close range is dangerous. Uh, he, he looked good. He looked phenomenal, and I, I think they're gonna. Doc's gonna yeah, step yeah. in and stop this fight. He's falling off, he's chair. Falling off his chair. It. There's the towel. He just threw in the towel. There's anyways. the towel from his corner. That's over, ladies and gentlemen. This fight is over. Nino hey now. Nino got the finish. Gets a big win against Justin McDonald. Great fight. Fantastic. Nino Great Haynow fight. never disappoints. Win or lose. This guy nope. is fun to watch. No. Nope. I, I can't wait to see what he does next. That was a great win. Dominant performance. Whatever he's done in the last year and a half since his uh, last fight. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. All right. All right. Let's the take King a cage. <laughs> Absolutely, King Warrior. Let's take a cage and make this thing official. Sounds good. All right, let's get to the center of the ring. Fight was stopped at the end of the first round by way of retiring to, with the towel. Leaving your winner, fighting out of the black corner, Nino Hino!
All right, guys, I'm gonna break you up. You guys can talk backstage. I'm here with your winner, Nino. Hey, now, man, you are always fun to watch, but you have so much power in those hands. How are you feeling right now? I feel great. I hope you guys came out and saw some dope shit. He's a good wrestler, strong as hell. I knew I had to weather the storm, so hats off to him. All right, man, did anything happen in that fight that caught you off guard? He was a lot more patient than I thought he would be, honestly. He, um, I knew he was gonna go for the takedown. I went for a hell of a ride on the first one. <laughs> you got elevated a little bit, but you recovered really well. Yeah, no, definitely. I ain't scared of nothing. I, I'm, I'm good if I get slammed, if I get punched. It, it is what it is, like it's a fight. So let's go, let's get it. All right, man, is there anyone you want to thank tonight? Yeah, definitely. My, my coaches, Rad and Brian, are here today. Got Arnold Anderton and just 4 7 as a whole. I definitely want to thank um, Aguima and the guys down there and the pit, Salt Lake. I love those guys. If it wasn't for you guys, always giving me that extra hand, I feel like I'd be stuck in a small little circle. So thank you. Uh, also, my whole family over here, look, all my supporters over here and everywhere else. I love you guys, thank you. It was my daughter's birthday last week. Happy birthday, my little man right there. You see what it is to be a warrior, don't ever give up. And I love everyone. Oh man, I love that. Are you gonna come back and keep doing this again? Definitely, I wanna get in here as soon as possible. But, you know, keep myself active. I was off for a while because of injuries and, you know, personal issues or whatnot. But listen, I want everybody before they leave, you got anything going on in your life, know that you're not alone. Just keep head strong, and keep your head up, because you got a crown to wear. And if you got to drag your fucking face across the floor, do that too. Keep your head down, keep working. And if you fall, fall forward. Beautiful, brother, man. We can't wait to see you come back. Congratulations. Everyone give it up for your winner, Nino. Hey, now.